In the history of mankind, a select few have emerged, warriors from around the world who have carved their names into the battlefields and conquered life. Today, I bring you 30 warrior quotes to forge character and bravery. I'm not afraid of an army of lions led by sheep, I'm afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. If you're a true warrior, competition doesn't scare you. It makes you better. Victory is always possible for the person who refuses to stop fighting. The whole secret lies in confusing the enemy so that he cannot fathom our real intent. Whatever possession we gain by our sword cannot be sure or lasting, but the love gained by kindness and moderation is certain and durable. Study strategy over the years and achieve the spirit of the warrior. Today is victory over yourself of yesterday. Tomorrow is your victory over lesser men. When life is victorious, there is birth. When it is thwarted, there is death. A warrior is always engaged in a life and death struggle for peace. Plan for what is difficult while it is easy, do what is great while it is small. I always thought of my mother as a warrior woman, and I became interested in pursuing stories of women who invent lives in order to survive. I've lived in many things, boats, caravans and buses. I've been homeless, I've had no money, everything. But I believe in magic and having a vision. The tough times made me a warrior. I work hard. Being a warrior is more than just physical, it is also spiritual. Destiny manifests itself and chooses warriors whose acts will echo throughout the ages. Alexander the Great, the legendary conqueror of ancient times, is a testament that courage leads to greatness. Let's take a peek inside his mind. There is nothing impossible to him who will try. Remember, upon the conduct of each depends the fate of all. Whatever possession we gain by our sword cannot be sure or lasting, but the love gained by kindness and moderation is certain and durable. I'm indebted to my father for living, but to my teacher for living well. Through every generation of the human race, there has been a constant war, a war with fear, those who have the courage to conquer it are made free, and those who are conquered by it are made to suffer until they have the courage to defeat it, or death takes them. I had rather excel others in the knowledge of what is excellent than in the extent of my power and dominion. You shall I question not, find a way to the top if you diligently seek for it, for nature hath placed nothing so high that is out of the reach of industry and valor. For my own part, I would rather excel knowledge of the highest secrets of philosophy than in arms. When we give someone our time, we actually give a portion of our life that we will never take back. I would rather live a short life of glory than a long one of obscurity. The warrior's path is a plethora of immeasurable adversities. Leonidas, the warrior king of Sparta, is the epitome of human power and resilience. Let's pay attention to what he has to say. Come and take them. This is Leonidas' most famous quote, spoken in response to Xerxes' demand that the Spartan army surrenders its arms. To marry good men and bear good children, 
This was Leonidas' instruction to his wife when she asked for his wishes prior to the Battle of Thermopylae. Then we are also near to them. Leonidas spoke these words to his soldiers when they became afraid that the Persian army was near. If you had any knowledge of the noble things of life, you would refrain from coveting others' possessions. But for me to die for Greece is better than to be the sole ruler over the people of my race. When Xerxes told Leonidas that the two should join forces and that Leonidas could be the sole king of Sparta, Leonidas gave these words as his response. Won't it be nice then if we shall have shade in which to fight them? This is what Leonidas told his soldiers when they complained that the amount of arrows being fired at them by the Persians was blocking out the sun. The Spartan society was forged through fire and steel. Let's take a look at what other people have to say. Feel no fear before the multitude of men. Do not run in panic, but let each man bear his shield straight toward the forefighters, regarding his own life as hateful and holding the dark spirits of death as dear as the radiance of the sun. The Spartans do not ask how many are the enemy, but where are they? It would be a regrettable waste. It would be nothing short of madness for you, brave king, and your valiant troops to perish, all because of a simple misunderstanding. There is much our cultures could share. It is not a question of what a Spartan citizen should do, nor a husband, nor a king. Instead, ask yourself, what should a free man do? From the time he could stand, he was baptized in the fire of combat, taught never to retreat, never to surrender, but death on the battlefield in service to Sparta was the greatest glory he could achieve in his life. There's no room for softness, not in Sparta, no place for weakness. Only the hard and strong may call themselves Spartans. Only the hard, only the strong. Freedom isn't free at all, that it comes with the highest of costs, the cost of blood. He who sweats more in training, bleeds less in war. The Spartans are the equal of any men when they fight as individuals, fighting together as a collective. They surpass all other men. Then we shall fight in the shade. We end this episode with a serious question. Do you think you have what it takes to become a warrior? If the answer was yes, then don't forget to subscribe, activate notifications and leave a like. Thanks for watching.